shocked at this point, honestly. He does crazy stuff in this venue. Remember, his, one of his strongest regional performances was fourth at the first Tri-Point Stadium. <laughs> okay. Looking yeah. cool, Joker. There is just an off chance. We live in a world next week where Sir Dank wins the Midwest Invitational spot. That could happen. And we watch Sir Dank versus some of the top players in the Midwest. He would have to get through Sam T and Geist. Those are those are the biggest hurdles. I think your big four coming in the next week for potential qualifiers. Sam T, Geist, Raven King, Ice Knight. That's your big, your big, your big four who aren't currently qualified that are going to be here. Yeah. Um, I think the only person who is already invited, who's registered right now, is Toad. Toad is registered, um, but we're going to have obviously a couple more players uh, come out since there's no yeah. late fees. So, yeah. like I talked with Comet, it's going to be out for next week. Yeah, Comet could come. But uh, already qualified, so yeah, he was invited, and then to Toad, 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 uh, Toad, what's up this way in? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, they gotta come through sometimes. True. Um, and then we'll also have uh, Colorado. Colorado's coming, yeah. Who, again, another uh, potential qualifier. Yeah, ooh, SEL's coming. Uh, Paul Kage was gonna come, then realized a few hours later, oh wait, I already have plans. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna. <laughs> Apollo Kage signed up, tweeted down our event link, and then proceeded to realize he can go farm an anime convention to Smash Tournament for a very good pop bonus. Because that's usually how that goes. Yeah. He said his family's also gonna be there, so. Hey, you, you hit two birds and one stone, but he is still about to go make a bag. I have seen Sir Dank at. Er, uh, Super Dan at uh, ASIN too many times. That is true. <laughs> and he walks away with a nice penny every time. I don't know. I'm, I want to see Sergey go up to some of the Midwest greatest, but right now, uh, that's not his mind. Right now, all he's thinking about is I want to take home this tri point bag. I got second last week. I beat Raven King last week. He beat everybody last week. He did beat everybody he beat last Revolver? week. He beat Revolver? Actually, Raven no, there's one person he didn't beat last week. Who? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Yeah, the Sir Tank Slayer, Mr. Roll from the Ledge three times, LeBay. <laughs> My bad, y'all. <laughs> I really, I, I, I awakened the, the Sleeping Beast, apparently. Yeah, you really did beat Sir Dank, and then he beat Revolver, Ice Knight, Raven King, and took a set off of Guy Guy. It was funny, last time I played Sir Dank before that, he six times. <laughs> Yeah, no, he, he'll just do that. You either have like a very close competitive so is Sir Dang, because he's just trying to like press up P from ledge like that. Yeah. Or he just six socks you. Well, Sir Dang's on, he is on. He, and he's been on today, but Raven King's also pretty on right now in this loser's bracket. This game one is very back and forth. Yeah, we're kind of watching, I mean, it's some of the top active players in the scene right now. Just yeah. looking. Especially in their best form. Yeah. I mean, we got number one, number five on our most recent PRs. Certain already starting to make an argument where I'm going to get even higher next season. But we'll see We'll see how it continues. Still very early. I guess it's been a while since I have watched a certain set, but he is so good now at not getting cheese uh, by guns. He's going so low onto the stage, saving that jump, uh, and then getting back with that up B since it just grabs from everywhere. Oh, the classic. Almost did it right down there, but Sen Raven King ready for it. We've seen that since 2001. Always the exact same. Yeah. All right. I will say, this is the second time this week Raven King has had to fight a Falcon player in Grand Finals in Chicago Weekly. Uh, he dealt with Arctics pretty swiftly at Ignition this week, and he was in winners the whole time. This time he's in losers, though, so it's a bit of a different story. Does have to win two in a row on to Sir Dank. Yeah, uh, Sir Dank is not Arctics. We've made this. The distinction is very clear. All of our weeklies have the same Grand Finals matchup. It's just a it's player. All, <laughs> it's, it's always Joker Falcon. It's just a which Falcon, is it? Um... I still remember when Sir Dank started coming back to tournaments, and I was like, oh, I remember this guy. <laughs> and then I, I... You will never forget this guy yeah. ever again. Now, you, you never forget him. And I'm just... I don't even know... I don't even know what to say. Because, like, I, I, I really just watch him, like, do a tech chase up via a platform, and then just, like, 
cheese a stock with a stomp? I just laugh because it's, it's just clicking in me that his tag is so dead. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's just kind of like at a moment of really. I've known him for years. It just kind of clicked with me. This tag is certain. I always talk about this story. So at Riptide, I watched Sirdank's entire like losing run to top 48 uh, on Saturday, and I'm I'm just sharing for him. I'm talking with him between sets, and like there, there's a little bit of a crowd for one of his sets. I think he's playing uh, Kobol. Oh, I remember that. And I think I out loud say I'm like, yeah, let's go Sirdank, and then like I can't say it again. <laughs> I just I just can't. <laughs> he rocks it in game too. So you know you know who he is. <laughs> Hey, everybody knows the day. If you, you, you hit a point, you, you all know who, who yeah. the day is. He can't change his tag anymore. No. <laughs> he's, he's reached the point where the Sir Dank is just his identity. <laughs> because I started talking with, it was 8-Bit Man, or uh, 8-Bit Brett, and um, Jackie Peanuts, as he's playing as well. And I'm like, yeah, he's like, recently uh, PR in Chicago, he's when he got pad. And then I, I think I say it to Jackie, he's like, yes, yeah, heck, Sir Dank. And then he's like, "Oh, that's him." <laughs> I've heard, of, I've heard the, the rumors. Yeah, if you're just around enough, you know. All right, he's looking super strong here in this game too. Wow, he was ready for the reverse guns. He air dodged it. We're watching like the extra level of these two players have played too much. Like that up smash, that like jump off air dodge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A <laughs> Sonic has vanished. He's gone. <laughs> just came back. He's not wearing the hat today, I just realized. I'm I was like something's different about him today. He's not he's not wearing the the, the, the green hat. He's, he's got the leather jacket on instead. No hat. He's in his serious mode. He is here to not drop a set in the wind. Sirdang's won try points. I don't know if he's ever won one from winners. I have to, I'd have to double check on that. He, he, he has. He, he definitely did. He did. He won that one where like, there was like no one there. I remember. Well, he won the one that was nobody there. He also won that one uh, over Ice Knight in the ramp. I think it was the first time he beat. Oh him. right, that time where Ice Knight died to Nair at like 50. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> but Raven King coming back and saying, uh, "Yeah, we have played a lot." I'm trying, I'm still, I'm still coming back. Yeah, these two have quite a bit of set, that's very, Raven King has a lot of sets with like everyone at this point. I think that's the like coolest thing of people who attend the locals like this much, of like, especially a player like Raven King, who, you know, last season we saw go to the, like, what, he had double like everybody else's events. Yeah, or, pretty like, much. The only person who was close to him was Ignatius, uh, where you're going to like two to three weeklies a week, and then if there's a regional in this state, or around this state, you're also added to it. Yeah. Uh, he, he was pretty much at everything. And I think that against the coolest part of just, the, like, the, the idea of the local scene is you can have a radacious Raven King type, like, rivalry, uh, or just player-to-player -player matchup. Uh, yeah. These guys are playing, like, almost 50 sets a season. Yeah, um, Raven King Revolver had that a couple seasons, like a year ago, I remember, too. Yeah, and they were just both at everything. Yeah, and then Ice Knight, too, uh, before Ice Knight got, got college. Yeah, um, uh, again. You guys know what the school and get a different person. Switch it up a little bit. Switch it up a little bit. It's crazy how they switch up on here, actually. That $60 Uber to try point, he doesn't care enough. He doesn't care. He switched up. But Sir Tank definitely did, and he is, again, he, he wants to win this so bad. He definitely does. He's on a good track here right now. Up throw, that's not going to take it yet. I don't know if he should have staled it. But yeah, he's, he's felt so like, all right, you get your punish. <laughs> that looked really weird. That, I think he did get her in the jab and put her on his shield, but that looked as, like, at an animation. Very, very weird. You gotta go high. What's the punish? And now you're dead. That, yeah, that, that was a up B will just kill me every time I see it. There's no way around that. It's a good move. It's the hitbox for the grab is weirdly large. It's an up throw weight up B. Yes, he did. <laughs> it could have a certain angle. I don't see him weight very often. <laughs> he doesn't like the press buttons. So, As yeah. seen. 
has seen here, but Sergey takes game to three of Grand Finals. He is a game away from taking home uh, Tripoint 185. A nice at $94. Already won. Uh, highest placing Chicago player last week swept the entire rest of the top five of the PR that was in attendance. Yeah. And it's looking to be the highest placing, not just Chicago player, just the, the, the guy who wins the tournament this week. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! This is the same man who has gotten put on every single uh, whitest Chicago smasher pool from the nation. This is true. <laughs> and I don't think he's won a single. <laughs> He beat the allegations every time. <laughs> he's there every time, but he almost... He, he's, he's not going to be the one. Uh-oh. <laughs> as soon as that forward tilt hits, I'm like... Are you, are you like no jump here. Okay, goes high. Certain recoveries are actually just insanely good. And I guess... You don't risk... Exp like, uh, I'm looking for a word and I just can't find it. You don't understand and like respect it as you're playing against him. You're like, wow, he's really just getting out of this. And then you watch him, you're like, yeah, he's, you know what? He's got it. He got it. Right now, Raven, he's got that Arsene. Only a little bit left of it, but it looks like he might be able to use it to take the stock. How does he sneak past these guns every time? Yeah. But that F still. Again, yeah. And it's, there's unfortunately not a lot Falcon can do about that. Yeah. Just I hope they mess up. I mean, that's, that's exactly what it is. is that, that is Raven King's situation. That is, like, that, that's a win con, essentially. Yeah. Uh, Sir Hank is playing so well around all of the other win cons um, that it's the only way he's secured a lot of kills here in this set. Yeah. I mean, he he's only taken a good number, a few stocks because he's lost most games in, in one and three of them have been that one interaction. It's all been on the left side too, oddly enough. Yeah. But we've got another ledge trap situation here. Green King definitely slowed this down a bit here. Yeah. I think he kind of knows. I mean, it, it's the most common way you see people beat Sir Dang. Uh, when people try and play at like his pace and are playing in, like that in your face, like running around, I'm pressing a lot of buttons. What, what essentially is makes survey survey. Yeah. Uh, you see them very quickly get blown up. Yeah, you can't outtake the tank. Yeah. And kind of just saw Lady King literally ledge trap his way for about 60 to 70 percent there. Yeah. And just finish the stock. That was like a minute long ledge trap, and that's what you got to do sometimes. Uh oh. That was so weird. All right. Do you make it back? You have to burn his air dodge. Makes it back, but we're still in another minute long air or minute long lunch trap. Yeah, this one's actually a lot faster because Arsene just did so much damage. And the classic, the, the Falcon BT. Yes. That's what the ups are. Pretty much. All right, get up attack. Actually, good mix up there. Gentlemen, reset the stage situation. I don't agree with going off here. Sirdank is, I mean, definitely feeling a little desperate here, but All Falcon right. in rage, anything can happen. The tournament could end now. This could be it. Anything, anything happens right now, and I'm not surprised. Either of these players can still win this, and I'm just like, you know what? It makes sense. Right, this would be a tall order for Sirdank. Especially get off the ledge. Oh, Raven King. No, that get up attack. I did. I down throw air dodge. Hello. You know what? <laughs> hey, nobody's got more heart than Sir Dan. He has heart. I'll give him that. Nobody's got that heart. <laughs> I don't know if the heart's going to be enough to take that game, though. We're going to go right into game five. Hello. Right into game five. Hey, I'm trying to get Chad up. <laughs> I just don't get it. Though. As soon as he shielded that guy, took, oh, I'm like, oh, no, Raven King might die. Then he got the down throw, and then air dodge. <laughs> I don't know what uh, what was he took. <laughs> He, he, that, that up tilt, I'm like, oh, he's got it. And then, no. No. Mm -hmm. No chat on comms. Three, Anti. Two, goose. Come on. One, Come on. Go. Shout out to Goose. It's, it was his birthday yesterday. It's no longer his birthday because it passed midnight. But happy birthday, Goose. Happy Wait, birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, Goose. I think that's it. Unfortunately. 
But right back into it. Game five. Wait, it was it game five? He's yeah. a game five, correct. Okay. Only watched three sets all day. But true. Uh oh. Yep. Not the if he was a little higher, that would have been the stock for sure. Both percent or just higher up towards the blast zone. Right there. Looking good here. Oh F tilt going right through. Uh, yeah, he got the claim animation too. And that fair one beating out up smash. That's kind of crazy. I, I, I don't think I've seen much beat out Falcon up smash. <laughs> I didn't think Joker forward would be enough to do it, but Raven King's got it. All right, Raven King, two more stocks, and he's got this reset. Goes for the up gun just to stall out uh, the edge guard situation. Yup. Yeah, no. Yeah. That doesn't really work on a character with command grab. <laughs> I, I was about to say, like, you you see you saw that work in the last set when he was playing uh, Lucas. Uh, it doesn't really work there because he's just gonna grab. You. That's what he's already looking for that option. Anyways. Yeah. So. Like, he's looking, because that just puts him in the best situation possible. He's going to right back to stage no matter what if he gets the grab. He's not looking to dare you. But. Yeah. This is a bad situation. I feel like he should just go straight to the ledge there. Yeah. Uh-oh. No punish. Or no follow-up. Yeah. Ranky jumping up in his seat a little bit. I think he really wants this reset. He wants the reset. He wants the win more than anything. He wants his run back from last week. True, and he's a stock away from taking the set. But I think I, I, with that interaction that he, you know, kind of reacted to afterwards was it was something. Why? 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 He's got it. <laughs> Nobody has it like Sir Dang. Why? Nobody. I can't comprehend it. <laughs> we aren't on his level for that. We don't understand it because we can't see to that dimension. <laughs> Only he's got it. Oh, that reminds me of a conversation I heard the other. I'll, I'll tell it after this game. <laughs> uh, all right, Ra this Raven King's looking clean. Looks like he might get this reset, but I mean, this is Sir Dank. Uh oh, they're gonna air not gonna air dodge this. Oh, never mind, <laughs> he did air dodge, but that time's actually smart. Dodge the side B. Yep, and Joker back air doing Joker back air things. What? The reset, starting in another bad spot here. Oh, he gets away with the roll. That's the lemme. <laughs> That's the lemme. Raven King has been able to essentially sh shut down Sir Dank here at the ledge, where he's getting all of his options. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's going to be a bracket reset. Uh, filled in both games at once there. But yeah, good stuff. The Raven King. We're going to get another set. We might get a game 10 grants. I remember this conversation I heard at Ignite the other day. I was talking with um with with, with Big Mac. It was me and Sarah. We were talking with Big Mac and uh, Earl of M. Big Mac. Big Mac's never had the honor of playing Sir Dank in bracket. <laughs> Big Mac has not played Sir Dank. Hmm. So he, he he's like I don't I don't understand how people are loose to this guy. Like he plays so weird. And Earl's there. Er, Earl says to him, "That's the problem. You don't understand." <laughs> It's the issue because so many people say that sentence. I have okay, I'm putting him on blast. I have heard Cipher say the same thing. He's like, dude, I wouldn't lose. Everybody plays against him wrong, and then he got three would right after saying that. No, you just don't understand. That's the thing. It's like, I don't understand how people are losing this guy. That's the thing. You don't understand. <laughs> Only Sir Tank understands. Raven King understood that last set, though. Man should get the bracket reset. And he is still going. Even though we got reset on, Sir Dink does not look like he's lost a lot of momentum. He still looks pretty clean here. <laughs> Cypher was in chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Cypher. I'm sorry, Albert. Wow, he's alive. But Raven King, he's essentially just rinse and repeating all of his lunch traps here. But it's... Sir Dank is kind of just pressing. Okay, we're at, we're at the point where Sir Dank now just looks like a Falcon pressing buttons. Yeah. And it's not like. Okay, you yeah. know what? Never mind. Sir Dank? 
he's got it. Alright, I just gotta get through the grappling hook. He needs to find this one opening. Is that dash not gonna be it? No. This is the up follow up. Uh oh. Oh? What the fuck? <laughs> Why? Alright, man. I think hard trying to call out his jump. All but. Right. That was the most normal Falcon thing I've seen him do, down throw up there. That's also oh. the most standard conversion I've seen in press. <laughs> I, into the taunt as well. Yeah, Strang's trying to stay fired up here. 12-20. Is, is the latest try point's gone in a long time, I will definitely say. Yep. Uh-oh. Are you dead? No, it missed no. the platform. If you got that platform reset, that might have been it. Yeah. Uh, but Raven King, obviously, been playing Falcon, or playing against Falcon for too long to not DI out away from the platform. For sure. Yeah, that got a lot of mileage off that Arsene counter there, but still down a whole stock here. I think we're, we're hitting that point again where um, like Raven King is... Spot dodge up smash. This is, that's not even Sir Dang, that's just smash ultimate. That is... That, yeah, that was... That smash ultimate, that is... That is Captain Falcon's DP. Uh, he just presses it. You just see it. It's, it hurts every time. All right, Cernank, despite getting a reset on, he's showing us here. He's not out of it. He's still got the momentum. That was like the, it was one of those games where I'm like, yeah, I think that's over. And I think Raven King's got it. I think he's gonna keep pushing his momentum here. Also, oh my God, the thing is empty. Yep, <laughs> there is nobody left. It is 12.30. This is normally when we are about to finish with cleaning up. Um, but we still got two players left in the venue. Unfortunately for, unfortunately for us, these two seem to be into it. It's a long weekend. I don't think I really see any big events this weekend. Actually, is Raven King going to uh, go Danville? No. no. Dan Danville, uh, it's like 20, 30-ish people uh, burst. <laughs> Chicken case ideas. Wait, yeah, what's his tag again? Chicken case of ideas. <laughs> God. My favorite player. He uh, he got a huge win at the Alina Invitational to start out the season. Very impressive. He did win a lot of money. <laughs> He's in uh, LA right now. He and his his his, his, his friends, they're doing a, a thing. Wait, he's in LA? Yeah. They're doing like a like a presentation there. I don't, I don't know. You're gonna ask him. It's not important. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm supposed to see it. Right. This is Falcon at 208, 210, 212. I'm There's just not much I can say here. It, like, like, it's been said. We, we, we. Well, I mean, you might as well, right? Your stock's done anyways. You're at 220. <laughs> You do die to anything that's the next game. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that, that Rebels guard was actually huge. Raven King might snowball here because he's about to get another Arsene. That down air was really nice. There it is. Oh, jeez. This might be a snowball if Sardin can't come back to take the stock. But that LB will reset the situation. That up air was actually really smart. <laughs> Not seen uh, Raven King hit a lot of the fair one conversions this set. Yeah, he only got like two hits with Darsen, the side B and the back air, but that was enough for it to snowball. Now we have pretty much a full stock lead here for Raven King. Oh. <clears throat> he has a lap, though, uh, almost lap. Then. All right, that'll yeah. I'm gonna pummel a little bit just to be safe, but just. I mean. Sternank's just trying to get everything done and over with, I think, at this point. I think he's either going to try and re-snowball, like how he normally does, or kind of just knows what's happening in this game. He's getting rinsed and repeated. Yeah, this, this is definitely uh, probably the strongest game Raven he's had so far. Definitely. It could change any second. Yeah, and th those Rebels guards are a lot right now. And, yep, no jump. Bouncing right off the side there. Yeah. Wasn't ready to attack that, but who is? <laughs> Nobody. Because some buddy get hit by the weak hit and you buffer an air dodge. Go for the grab reset, getting our set there. He has to go. Okay. You know, I. 
Yeah. I think Next we're going to get a game 10 simply based off of SDs. <laughs> I wouldn't be super shocked to be honest. Yeah. All right, Raven King stretching it out, looks behind him, sees that everyone is left. Realizes <laughs> nobody in the venue is left besides Stop these battle. two competitors. That's what Chucky in the back now. They're still packing stuff up. PM's done too, right? Yeah. yeah PM finished, like, I think before Loser's sex. Or Loser's finals. Well, we should be done before 1 a.m. That's something. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would hope so. Yeah. I'm going to Danville tomorrow. We, we, we've had tri points in the past, the summer tri points where we go past 1 a.m. before. It has occurred. It is something that does happen. <laughs> oh, hey, get out of here. Is it the first change of stage we've had all grounds? Yes. We, we, we played um, seven games on PS2 strictly. And right. now Sir Dink decides to follow Bastion. And so far, it's working. Well, it's counter -based. Wow, actually managed to punch the landing up in there. Oh! Missed tech. For it all. I think both of these players, I mean, I, I think Raven King especially right there, looking behind him, he's realizing there's nobody left in the venue. He's like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, time. It's time. We ought to wrap this up. I say, as they have gone the maximum number of games they could have possibly gone so far. And they probably are still going to keep going the maximum number of games. Much to production, uh, is this Ken? Ken, I can't. Hey, we know we get more views. Theoretically. Yeah, three. No. <laughs> no. No, no, we're good. We're good. Let's keep it going. Let's keep going. <laughs> Don't worry, we're going to see this next week as well. This doesn't have a lot of people. Actually, yeah. Uh, I mean, we, we, we need to pick a reasonable side of that. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we unfortunately can't do HDR again. Yeah, we, we're, we're, we're not running HDR again next week. Sorry, guys. We'll run it again in the future. Well, but next week is not the future you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> that up tilt. Oh my gosh. I kind of see why he picked this. Yeah, it's a good stage for Falcon. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I know Raven King also has this as a comfort pick. This is a stage he goes to a lot of the time. Yeah. Uh, even with both of his characters, uh, the Joker and the Ike. Oh, he got, like, five grappling ones. Hold on a second. I mean, yeah. Sir Dink wasn't, uh, kind of, just kind of didn't do anything. But at a certain point, that is just true. Yeah. Landing. That was a very weird, uh angle to get sent off with like a single bullet. Oh, are we going to see the end of it here? No, okay. <laughs> okay. Interesting interaction there. Again, I think I said it during the first set. These two players have played so much that we are just kind of still seeing that like extra layer of, it's not just character to character matchup, it is, yeah, we know each other's habits. Yeah. We are Try. I mean, from certain maybe delaying like a gentleman or something like that to uh, call out like a spot dodge, or like we saw right there, Raven King knowing he's gonna go for that up B and just kind of being ready in a yeah. situation that honestly I don't think a lot of people would be ready for. Not only these two uh, play in bracket a lot, these two actually spent like three or four hours yesterday on Raven King's stream playing offline. <laughs> yeah, I mean again. It's kind of the good thing about this scene, specifically the Chicago scene. All the top players play each other a lot. Yeah. There's, in, unless, you know, maybe it's uh, your, like, cool kid, Blucas, who doesn't really go into much, or your... Big I Mac go, Big Mac and Sir Dank. <laughs> Big Mac and Sir Dank. That's but, a set that I need to happen at some point. Okay. Can and I will rig a rig of racket to make that happen. <laughs> The set that can never happen. Your Ignite regular and your Tri Point regular. But Sir Dank, once again, a game away from winning the tournament. But we are back on PS2 for Raven King's counter pick. We have played uh, now seven of eight games on this stage. True. But Sir Dank is, I mean, he, he, both of these players are still, again, playing really good. Uh, so, yeah, honestly, it feels like they've been on the gas for the whole whole uh, grams. Yeah. 
I think we, we said it earlier, and it was when uh, Raven King started winning uh, those games uh, at the uh, end of set one. He started slowing down the gameplay a little bit more, uh, and I think he's kind of let Sir Ding get control of the pace of the game again. And like we said, uh, a lot of people who try to play at Sir Dang's pace, uh, it does not work out correctly for them. Yeah, Sir Dang, Sir Dang is very much the pace setter. That, honestly, Falcon in general is very good at setting the pace. Uh, Raven King almost had an opportunity there with the loops to get a stock, but actually messed them up a little bit. Yeah, I was kind of expecting maybe uh, an up smash right there, but maybe it, there's a chance that the note doesn't kill. I don't know what my percentage is. Well, Falcon, Falcon lived for a long time off the top, so maybe, yeah. He also didn't have any raids. It's PS2. Who almost traded. This is looking very nice for Sir Dang. Oh, as I say that. Yep. But Raven King actually turning up in his... He wants this. Like I'm saying, I, <laughs> these are two competitors who uh, I think a lot of people in this scene just kind of understand like how bad they want every tournament. Yeah. And they're showing up to the locals, kind of throwing it all out there, just to for nothing but to prove the point. Yeah, Serdang certainly proving his point here. We might not end up seeing a game 10 after all. Serdang wants to finish this up game number nine. Yep, but Raven King, again, trying to get some spares here as Sir Dank oh, SDs. That's tough. He knows that essentially any stock here, especially being on tourney stock for Raven King or having Raven King on tourney stock, it means a lot. Yeah, oh my, that SD actually might have just changed everything. Yep. We'll see what happens. Sir he Dang. needs to get rid of this, And, I mean, all it takes is, again, one or two hits from... Yeah, yeah, okay, it's gone. Definitely a sigh of relief from Sir Dank. We are sitting in a very even game, in my opinion, but Sir Dank trying to shut me up. And yeah, now that Arsene's gone, Sir Dank uh, breathing a little easier. Of course, not out of it yet. I say that, and he does options like that. Yeah, that Falcon kick. Oh, he tried to call out the jump from ledge with a back air there, but Raven King did jump air dodge. Kind of expecting that hitbox. Oh, the weird DI! That... That was crazy. Who just screamed? I don't know. Someone, <laughs> that was the strangest ending to that set I could have imagined. The, the, the high percent up air just With the bad blowing DI, yeah. him up. You're not ready for that up air. You're, like, you're not DI'ing it, right? And... Sir 